Yes, guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. So we're just going to jump straight to it, right? No bullshitting about the 80 plus right gold players pick, right? This has caused um, gold commons to go to like what 650 coins. So if we have a look, 650 coins, yeah, they sell for 650 quite easily. Once this goes, gold commons, I don't know, if I've done that. Gold commons will literally go to probably 300, even 350, right? And you'll just see tons of them, right? Because there's, there's no need for them. And then every Monday, they release another batch of 75 plus or 80 plus or whatever it's going to be. And they go all the way back up to 650, maybe 700 when they first start coming out, right? So if you've got 30,000 coins, right? And you want to put 30,000 coins into buying gold commons for 300 at a pop, right? You'd get 100 of them. If you set them all, the 650 the tax on that is something stupid like 30 something coins or 32 coins which will get back 617.5 i think coins so once you've sold that 100 out of that 30k you'll have 61,750 back which is is quite easy to write and it is it's actually quite simple to do so just buy 100 of them which quite easily you'll make 31,700 something coins so every, every, let's say, 350 you pick up, you'll make 100,000 coins, which it does sound boring and tedious, but I kid you not, it'll probably take you, it'll take you no more than an hour picking 350 up. Um, I'm pretty sure you can just unassign them as well, put a load, put a load in the club, for starters, put a load, you know, fill up your transfer list, and then also unassign loads, and every 300 and something you pick up, you will quite easily, yeah, you'll make, I mean, they could even go more, but let's say you sell them for 650, you'll probably most like, yeah, you'll make, so that'd be, um, so that'd be, let's have a look, so you would do, so if you've done that three times, out of night, you'd spend 90k overall, and you'd make 185,250 coins, so, you're, yeah, you'd make 95,000 out of doing 350 lots of them, which is pretty good. I think my maths is actually, actually okay there. I think that's pretty good. What it might do though is, for instance, and if you, let's say they, you did do that and then they just put in 11 gold rares on the next player pick, you would just have to hold on to them. That is, that's kind of one of the things you're going to have to do. But gold rares haven't really moved. So, I mean, you could even go on gold rares, right? So gold rares, if you work it out, it's something like when they're needed, they go to like, you know, 1,000, easily 1,1, one, one, right? If that's 11 rares needed, 1,100. You take away the 5% of that, that's going to give, it's 55, that's going to give you 1,450. You take away the 650 you pick them up for, which is 395 coins profit. If you do 100 of them, which it's quite reasonable to do. You make 39,500 of every 100. You do 300 of them, you get 118,500. So you make more of them, but you need more coins doing it, if that makes sense. So it is a very easy way of doing it. Um, and it was something I would definitely do. Probably look into doing it Monday. If you start seeing prices go up Monday, or you can look on Twitter and kind of see where it's all going to go. Like Twitter and you know, foot share from things like that, they normally leak what SPCs are coming out. So you see something and it's like requires 11 rares, go in and get all rares. If it just requires two rares, go in and get a load of commons. It's quite simple to do, but yeah, that's going to be it from me anyway, lads. Hope this helped and uh, see you in the next one. Peace.